Brothers and sisters, today we will see Exodus chapters 1 and 2. Exodus 1 tells the story of how the Israelites grew and multiplied in Egypt after the death of Joseph and his brothers. At this time, a new pharaoh came into power who did not know about Joseph's contributions to Egypt. Seeing the increasing population of the Israelites, the pharaoh grew fearful and saw them as a threat to his kingdom. He devised a plan to oppress them by forcing them into hard labor and treating them harshly. The Egyptians imposed heavy burdens on the Israelites, making their lives difficult and bitter. Despite the harsh treatment, the Israelites continued to multiply and thrive, which only intensified the Pharaoh's fears. In an attempt to control the population, the Pharaoh ordered the Hebrew midwives to kill all the Hebrew baby boys at birth. However, the midwives feared God and did not carry out the Pharaoh's command. They let the boys live. As the Israelite population continued to grow, the Pharaoh took more drastic measures. He commanded his people to throw every Hebrew baby boy into the Nile River. Exodus 1 sets the stage for the hardships and challenges faced by the Israelites in Egypt. It highlights the Pharaoh's oppression and the courage of the Hebrew midwives who defied his orders. The chapter also foreshadows the need for deliverance and sets the scene for the remarkable events that will unfold in the book of Exodus. Exodus 2 continues the story of the Israelites in Egypt. In this chapter, we are introduced to Moses, one of the most significant figures in the Bible. At that time, a Levite couple had a baby boy. Fearing for his safety due to the Pharaoh's command to kill all Hebrew baby boys, they hid him for three months. When they could no longer keep him hidden, they made a basket and coated it with tar and pitch to make it waterproof. The baby's mother placed him in the basket and set it among the reeds by the bank of the Nile River. His sister, who was watching from a distance, saw that the pharaoh's daughter came to bathe in the river. When she saw the basket, she sent her maidservant to bring it to her. Upon seeing the baby, the pharaoh's daughter felt compassion for him and decided to adopt him as her own son. Miraculously, Moses' own mother was summoned to nurse and care for him, as arranged by his sister. Moses grew up in the pharaoh's household, receiving the best education and living a life of privilege. However, he never forgot his Hebrew heritage. One day, when Moses was grown, he witnessed an Egyptian beating a Hebrew slave. In his anger, Moses killed the Egyptian and buried him in the sand. Word of this incident reached the Pharaoh, and Moses feared for his life. Fearing the consequences, Moses fled Egypt and settled in the land of Midian. There, he encountered a group of shepherd girls who were being harassed by some shepherds. Moses intervened and helped them, which caught the attention of their father, Jethro. Jethro invited Moses to live with him and gave him his daughter Zipporah in marriage. They had a son named Gershom. Exodus 2 introduces us to Moses, a man destined for a significant role in the liberation of the Israelites. It highlights the events that shaped his early life, including his rescue from the Nile, his upbringing in the Pharaoh's household, and his flight to Midian. The chapter sets the stage for Moses' calling and the remarkable journey that lies ahead. Dear brothers and sisters, we will continue the next chapters in the next video. Stay blessed. Amen. Kindly subscribe and share. Thank you and good night.